Let's say you're travelling in a car at 40 kilometres per hour and another car is about to overtake you at 60 kilometres per hour. As the other car passes you, its velocity relative to you is 20 kilometres per hour. If the other car is coming towards you, however, its velocity relative to you is 100 kilometres per hour. The relative velocity is defined as the velocity of an object with respect to an observer. If two moving objects are travelling in the same direction, the relative velocity is the difference of their velocity, whereas if the objects are moving in the opposite direction, their relative velocity is the sum of their individual velocities. That seems simple enough, but what if the two moving objects are travelling in opposite directions at or very close to the speed of light? If we add their individual velocities to find the relative velocity, the result we get is twice the speed of light. But nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, as we saw in another video. To find the relative velocity of objects that are moving at significant fractions of the speed of light, we have to use this formula known as the Lorentz transformation of velocities. When the speeds of objects are much slower than the speed of light, v1 times v2 over c squared is so small that we can ignore it. However, when the speeds of objects are significant compared to the speed of light, we can't ignore this factor. Let's say the moving objects are each travelling at 75% of the speed of light, 0.75c in opposite directions. Their relative velocity will be found to be 0.96c, or 96% of the speed of light. <laughs>